Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley. I make spiritual content, I make pointless content. I do focus a lot on spirituality, self-love, and personal development though, so if that's what you like, stick around, subscribe. Hello, I'm not usually this glam, so I'm feeling really pretty today, but I felt like I wanted to get cute for you guys because I haven't filmed in like two weeks, so I put on a cute little dress, I did my hair, I did my makeup, and I'm feeling good. Today, I wanna to talk about how to stop caring what people think because I feel like it's what so many people struggle with and what I struggle with to this day, but not as much as I used to. Whew, the way I used to give a shit is crazy. I'm almost done my iced coffee. If you're curious, I drink a grande iced blonde vanilla latte with oh no. This is a grande, but I put in a venti cup because I want extra ice, but I didn't want them to cheap out on me, so I, <laughs> yeah, a little starburst step. Anyways, I used to care so much what people thought about me, it was insane. I am not being dramatic, like I would constantly think about what is going on in other people's minds. I would say for the majority of my life, up until I was like maybe 23, 24, I'm currently 27, and it's pretty new to me to not give a shit. I mean, obviously I have my moments, I think we all do, no matter who we are, I think we all have our moments, even Doja Cat. Someone as carefree as Doja Cat, because <laughs> that girl doesn't give a shit. But I'm sure she has her days. So if you are anything like what I used to be or what I still kind of am sometimes, not too often, but sometimes, then you probably are constantly worried about what people think about you. I would feel so awkward talking to people in public. I would feel awkward talking too loud in public. I would feel awkward spilling the tea to my friends at dinner and having people overhear me in public. Even to the point where like if a place didn't have fitting rooms, I wouldn't even want to like try the jacket on in front of the mirror because I just feel so weird. Like, should I be doing this? Are people looking? Blah, 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 blah. Who gives a shit? When you start to remind yourself that you are literally nothing to these people, you will start to care less. Something that I have to think about every time I get into my mind and I start thinking, oh my God, they care, they're looking, they're this, they're that. I just have to say, are they gonna think about me in an hour? Would I think about that person if the world were reversed? For example, let's say I'm like, I don't know, fucking vlogging in public, talking, talking, talking. If I'm out in public and I see someone vlogging, am I like, <laughs> oh my God, they're vlogging in public, what a dumbass, they're so stupid, they're so foolish. No, I'm just like, Hmm, I wonder if they're a YouTuber. Hmm, I wonder what they're recording. I wonder what blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't really, maybe I'll think about it, but I don't really have any negative perspective on it. And if I do, it's not like I go up to them and tell them. I just think it in my mind. They'll never know what I'm feeling. So you need to reverse the roles for yourself and put yourself into that mind frame and just think like, hmm, if I was the person right now on the outside doing whatever I'm doing, watching whatever I'm doing, would I give a shit? And usually the answer is no. So let's talk about it. How to be unbothered, how to not give a shit. I wouldn't name this video how to not give a shit, but I will get demonetized or flagged or something because we know how YouTube is nowadays. It is so sensitive. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. So five ways that you can stop caring about what people think of you. Number one, you are a tiny speck of matter on a floating rock in a ginormous fucking universe. <laughs> like, take that in. I understand it's common sense. I know, we all know this, but think about it. Like, how insignificant are we? Like, we are so insignificant. Like, this universe is huge. This planet is huge. There are billions of us. I don't know how many people, hey Google, how many people are on this earth? The population of earth was 7,752,840,547. Okay. So 7 point whatever billion people exist on this earth and you think that you're important? <laughs> you think that you're important. Okay, I understand. We are in the center of our own universe, but that's what it is. It's our own universe that we're the center of. We are not the center of anybody else. So why do we think that we are. Do you think that when you tripped and fell at the club, when you were a little too tipsy and some people saw you, do you think they're still thinking about that today? And if they are, do you think they spend more than 10 seconds thinking about it? They're not. And even if they are thinking about it, do you know that they're thinking about it? No, because you're insignificant to them because you are not the center of their universe. They are the center of their own universe. So you have to remind yourself that this universe is ginormous ginormous and you are a tiny speck of dust and when you die that's it it's over it is well i mean past lives that's the thing in my opinion but 
you're not gonna remember this life in your next lifetime. So you may as well make the most of it and enjoy it and live through it unapologetically rather than constantly worry about what people on this earth are thinking because there's too many of us to give a shit. There really is too many of us. Number two, I want you to remember that one day you will be old and you will not be able to do the things that you can do today. God willing, okay? One day, let's say, you're scared to dance in public, which is, I think that's something that I am a little like, ooh, I get a little shy over, unless I'm like in a dancing environment. Um, I get a little shy to dance in public. That's something that I care about. But then I have to think about it. Like, I am an able-bodied 20-something. I, ca I can dance, I have the choice. But what if one day I am 95, I'm on my deathbed, and I'm thinking, man, what I would do to just listen to some music and dance on the beach right now like an idiot. One day we won't be able to do the things that we can do today. You wanna to vlog and you feel weird about it? One day you might not be able to hold your arm up. On my grandma's last 15, 20 years of life, it was really hard for her to lift so much as a fork, to pick up a cup of coffee. We had to grab cups with long straws, you know, like in order for her to like carry things. And it broke my heart. Oh my God, I don't even want to cry, but it, it's sad to see, you know? And, and one day that's gonna be us, you know? And to think that right now I am able to pick this up, shake my ass over there, run over there like an idiot, you know? Like, I should be doing these things. I should be doing these things and not caring about, oh, people are watching me vlog. Like, oh my God, like they probably think I'm like so weird, you know? Like, who cares? We have the ability to do these things. We have the right to do these things if we live in a free country, so why don't we do that? Remind yourself, when you're scared to do something, I want you to remind yourself, one day I might not be able to do this, so I should take advantage of this. I should. Number three, people are not thinking about you as much as you think they are. I promise you. Like I said, kind of ties into number one, we're the center of our own universe, but also like, even if we're not thinking about ourselves and our own lives, um, we don't care. We do not care. In fact, most times we're curious in a good way. I'll give an example. I was vlogging one time and I saw this man vibing to his music all alone, singing, having a good time by himself, looking crazy. But did I look at him and think, he looks crazy? No, I was like, damn, he's having a good time. He's having a good time. So even when people are staring, even when people are thinking about you, even when people are paying attention to you, they're probably not doing it in a negative way. It's probably just because they want in on it or they're curious or they admire that like, you know, ability to just go out and be yourself and be unapologetic. I, I'm telling you, 80% of people are, that's a made up statistic, that's just me, you know? 80% of people are probably looking at you like, I wanna be their friend. Ooh, I wish I was that outgoing. Ooh, like, that looks fun. I wonder what song they're listening to. And you need to understand that, like, people don't really care. And when they do, it's usually in a good way. It's like they're curious or interested. So tell yourself that. I'm telling you, just flip the narrative. If when you're doing something weird or when you care what people are thinking, ask yourself, like, what would I think if I saw this? And you'll find that your answer is usually positive and keep that in your mind. Number four. You need to remind yourself that people's ideas and opinions of you are just a projection of their own thoughts and feelings. So even if they are judging you, even if they do think you're weird, even if they think you're fucking, you know, crazy, that's just a projection of their own insecurities. Why do they have a problem with it? Why? I feel like, let's say this girl I know started a YouTube channel, you know, and I see her and she's looking stupid, in my opinion. The reason why I think she looks stupid is probably because I'm too scared to start my own YouTube channel. And I think in my head, if I started a YouTube channel, it would be so much better, it would be so good, but I'm too scared. So I'm projecting my own insecurities, my own fears, my own limiting belief, my own self-doubt onto this girl who's doing exactly what the fuck she wants to do. That is a projection of my own problems within myself that I haven't healed. So you need to understand that a lot of the world works this way. Not everybody. I think most people are, you know, Maybe the 20% remaining from the 80 I just mentioned. I don't know the statistics, like I said, I'm just making this shit up. But what I'm saying is like, these 20% or these people that are upset with you, it has nothing to do with what you're doing. It has everything to do with how they feel about themselves and their own internal world. So you need to live your life unapologetically and do whatever you wanna do because the people that have a problem with it have a problem with themselves and that's their own issue. You have nothing to do with that. 
who cares if they think you're weird? And think about it, are they going to tell you that they think you're weird? No. When people from your high school or from your college or from your job see your YouTube channel and you think it might be embarrassing that they might care, they don't give a shit. And if they do, they're not going to tell you to your face. They're going to talk shit behind your back and you're never going to find out about it. So either way, you're living blindly to the fact that they, they have a problem with you. You know what I mean? Like they have a problem with you, but you don't know it. So you may as well live your life because either way, you're not going to know how they feel. If they think that your YouTube channel is cringe and corny, your coworker's not going to come and, oh my God, this is cringe and corny. They're not going to come up to you at work and be like, oh my God, this is cringe and corny. They're going to go talk behind your back and that's okay. That's okay because that's their problem. So just remind yourself that, yeah, people don't give a shit, but if they do, you won't know. So you may as well do you. Number five. I think this is one of the most important things to keep in mind when you are trying to stop caring how people see you, perceive you, or what they think of you. You can take control of your own feelings. I'm sitting here telling you, do you, be unapologetically you, don't care about this, and it's easier said than done, and I understand that. However, we do have a choice. You need to live through the discomfort in order to grow. It's like, I was talking to my therapist the other day and she was talking about something called exposure therapy. I was talking about like my paranoia, whatever, whatever, right? And she was like, the only way to get over this fear is to expose yourself to it. People who are scared of spiders, they need to expose themselves to it. They need to look at it, they need to kill it. And it's gonna get easier over time. It's not gonna be fun the first 10 times. It's gonna be terrifying and horrible. You know, my paranoia, like she's like, you think someone's breaking in? Like you need to go out and look like, there's nothing here, it's just my paranoia because my mind is kind of irrational, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but she was telling me, expose yourself to it, you know? So, the way that I kind of look at this um, perspective in, you know, trying not to give a shit what people think, is that you have control over your emotions, you just need to expose yourself to the discomfort that comes with doing whatever it is you're afraid of. So, let's say you're afraid of, um, public speaking and you decide to public speak for some reason or you have to present for a class project you have control over your own emotions and feelings and thoughts and behaviors so when you go into that you need to take control you're gonna be shaking you're gonna be sweating you're gonna be nervous oh my god what if I throw up what if I choke what if they're laughing you need to sit through that experience and be like okay if they laugh what's gonna happen am I gonna die no if I choke what's gonna happen am I gonna die no Hopefully not. You need to ask yourself the questions like what is the worst possible outcome and you're gonna realize it's not that bad. Take a breath. Allow yourself to kind of, you know, go through that emotion and then say, I'm choosing to acknowledge this and move on and do this regardless, you know? It is gonna be hard, but you do it again, it's gonna be hard, but you do it again, it's gonna be a little easier. And then a little easier, and then a little easier and easier, and eventually you won't care. I used to be so scared of talking to strangers, now I love talking to strangers. It took me a year and a half to feel very comfortable and confident and happy with that. Prior to that, I was scared, I was anxious, I got nervous, I would stutter, I would ramble, I would just be like, when are they leaving? Like, I would be so nervous, but I exposed myself to it and I controlled my emotions, and I sat with myself and I said, I am in control of the situation, and that would carry me through. So you need to tell yourself that. You are in control. Take a breath, take three deep breaths before you do something, allow your heart rate to slow down. I think that what helps my heart rate slow down is I take six deep breaths for four seconds. I do And I do that six times. And I find that my heart rate slows down. Or I grab a crystal. Ooh, this one's one of my calming stones, blue calcite. I hold it, I hold it, and I just remind myself, okay, you're good, you're good. So yeah, you're in control of your emotions, so remember that. And lastly, just to finish this off, I just wanna remind you guys that life is short. We're all gonna die. We're on a floating rock in space, and we don't matter. With peace and love, we don't matter. I don't matter, you don't matter. I mean, we do, but we don't. So. Just remind yourself of that. One day you're gonna look back at your youth and you're gonna be like, damn, I wish I did the things I was afraid to do. I wish I would've just started that YouTube channel, created my modeling portfolio, gone up to that stranger that I really wanted to be friends with, 
And there are things that I'm holding myself back from right now that I'm scared to do, and I'm gonna do them eventually, but I'm scared because sometimes I, I still care what people think. So I just want you to remind yourself that one day you won't have the choice to do all these things. Right now you do, so make that choice for yourself. The only thing standing in your way is you. It's you. So don't be that person for yourself, don't. Push through all the limiting beliefs, all the self-doubt, and just do what you gotta do to make your life count. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, let me know. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. That really, 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 really helps me out. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So if you like my content, please engage with it. I would really love for you guys to even comment tips in this video. Like if there's something that you did that helped you overcome what um, you were afraid of, drop it down below. Or if there's something you need advice on, drop it down below. If I don't answer, I'm sure someone in the community will answer because I feel like you guys show so much love and I don't know, I see people like commenting to each other on videos and it's so cute. So yeah, just drop a comment um, and wait for my next video patiently, I guess. I don't know, a couple days from now. I'm trying to post twice a week right now, so just keep an eye out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.